Hello lovelies. So today I'm going to be talking about a topic that has been on my mind for about a month or two now and I just haven't found the words to talk about it until now nor the time and yeah so here we go. Today I am going to be talking about friends and friendships in general. Overall I have about five points and then I'll kind of go into those a little and so yeah here we go. Point number one. Contrary to popular belief and what others make you think, you can choose your friends. You're not stuck being friends with people in your classes just because you see them every day. Especially after high school you realize who your true friends are or how you never had any real friends. You only merely seemed friends just because you saw each other every day. So point number one, basically, you can choose your friends. You're not stuck with them just because you see each other every day. Point number two. If you've made friends with someone, but every time you're around them, your ener energy levels drop and you just seem annoyed or put down, that's a toxic friendship and not one you need to lead on any further. Friends are people who are there to encourage you and lift you up and give you constructive criticism, not put you down and belittle everything you say. So point number two, if anyone you consider as a friend is putting you down or making you feel less than they are and it's a constant thing, that's a toxic friendship that you don't need to be in. Point number three, it's okay to have a few close friends rather than a lot of general friends. It's probably healthier anyways to be in this situation unless you're just a person who needs a lot of people, a lot of different people to talk to. And it's okay, whichever suits you. Though, those few close friends will probably end up knowing you and your needs better and treat you better than a group of a lot of general friends. You'll probably end up trusting these close friends more rather than walking away from a big group of friends and worrying that they're going to start talking about you behind your back as soon as you walk away. So point number three, it's probably better to have a few close friends that you talk to a lot more and you trust a lot more than having a lot of friends that may maybe you see every day or you see you every other day um, that are just not as close. Point number four. If someone you think you're friends with is sending you mixed signals about your friendship, well, your gut feeling is probably right and you might want to cut that friendship off. And that's okay because you need to take care of yourself rather than letting that friendship turn into a toxic one. No one deserves to feel like they're stuck in a friendship just because they've been friends for so long or because they see each other every day. People grow apart and accepting that and moving on is part of growing up in life. Point number four, if you're getting mixed signals in a friendship and you don't feel like you trust them, you can probably go with your gut feeling and cut it off before it becomes toxic and before you feel like you're stuck in that friendship because you've been friends for so long. Point number five, it's okay to be lonely. Really, it is. Everyone needs their own personal time away from everyone that I see every day, every day. And to give yourself some self-love and pampering time. Being around people all the time is exhausting and you don't need to feel like and you don't have to feel that you're giving your all to people who don't give 100% back in return because ultimately that's not fair and that's not what friendship is about. It's a give and take thing and you're there to grow together. So point number five, it's okay to be lonely. It's okay to be lonely. It really is. It's great. That's why I live alone. I need to get away from people. <laughs> I, ha I, I can only take so much time with, with people, you know. This video is not meant to tell you to cut off all your friendships immediately if they seem bad. It's to re-examine your friendships and think about them more and how these people are treating you and if it's fr a friendship that you need to keep in the future. Because your life is about you and, well for me, it's about my relationship with God and my family and me, but I'll go into my religion in another video. It's all about your personal growth and keeping yourself and your mind healthy and loving yourself to the fullest extent. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you maybe grow from this and learn a lot and maybe there's someone in your life that you've been needing to cut off for a while and hopefully maybe this video will help you with that or make you realize that someone in your life is toxic or maybe that you're not being the right friend to someone and that you might be coming a toxic friend to someone else and that's okay okay if that relationship ends. I hope you guys have a lovely day and yeah, go out and make friends. Make good friends. Make friends that'll last long or not last long. It's, it's fun. Life, life's fun. Life's about adventure and going out there. So yeah, have a lovely day and I will see you guys later. Bye lovelies!